Do epidurals fail during C-sections? of anesthetic that you end up having. The reason why we do an epidural is so that you don't get completely numb and you can still use your legs to end up pushing. So you're basically able to push through. Well, guess what? But a spinal is used for C-sections because we want you to be all the way numb from your titties all the way down. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of the fact that that is a complete block. There is no question we go directly into the cerebral spinal fluid versus an epidural is epidural or before the actual dura. And so then we give a lot more medication as it seeps into the other side. Girls fail. So the main reason is because of the way that the baby is actually sitting. You have pain dermatomes, which are levels of pain um, that are actually exist. So imagine if the baby is sitting on one side, the actual epidural, the medication can't get to that side because of the way that the baby is laying. That's the first. Secondarily, it can also be because of the fact that you are changing so quickly that your body doesn't have time or that my medication doesn't have time to catch up to where your body is going. Remember, a lot of change, that feeling of intense pressure is pressure. Epidurals cannot take away pressure, only pain. But if I were to stand on you with a high-heeled shoe, guess what? That's pressure, but ouch, that would be painful. So that can happen as well. And then the third reason is um, inexperienced providers. So an inexperienced anesthesia provider can place an epidural in one spot, like they could be too far over to one side or the other, hence why only one side of the body ends up getting um, blocked or gets comfortable. The other side, unfortunately, would continue to feel the contractions. So what can we do? We can increase the amount of medication that you get and or we can replace it in general and just have a brand new provider that does it. It is a field technique and uh, after 15 years of practice you can you get kind of good at it. Oh and I forgot to make mention if you were a person that started puking while you had your labor and delivery no mo. That's what no mo nausea bands were made for. It's a natural way. You actually smell it and that stops 80% of people from vomiting in 30 seconds or less. Genius.